Hi and welcome to Great Asian Cooking. My name is Ha and today I'll show you how to make the wonton broth. So to start off we're gonna need nine liters of water in a casserole and after that we'll be needing three and a half pounds of pork bones. I prefer the neck bones because uh, it gives a sweeter flavor to it. We're gonna need one cup of dried shrimpies. We're gonna be using one medium sized onion. You'll peel off the dry part of it, but keep it intact because we're gonna throw the whole onion inside the broth and we don't want it to be, uh, to fall apart, okay? We'll also need three quarters of cup of sugar, one third cup of MSG, and we'll be using one eighth of a cup of salt. So let's swap to the cooking. Heat up your water on high until it forms bubble on the bottom. Start by adding your sugar. Add the MSG. Add your salt. Stir properly to dissolve all the seasoning. Now you can add your onion. Add your pork bones. I pre-branch them so they don't leak blood to darken the broth. Finally, add your pre-washed dried shrimp. I put them in a stainless steel spice ball. You can also use a tea bag. As you boil the broth, a protein, protein foam will gather on the surface. Stir up the bones to free the foam, then skim it off. This will prevent the broth from being cloudy. Repeat this process three times and then lower the heat to medium. Let it simmer for one hour and you're done. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make wonton. So what we're gonna need is 600 gram of slightly fat ground pork. Okay, we'll also be needing 200 grams ground shrimps. You'll also be needing half a tablespoon of sugar. half a tablespoon of MSG, one eighth of a teaspoon of salt, one eighth teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, let's mix this together. So the reason why we want the slightly fat uh, pork is because you're, you'll end up having a um, wonton that's much more dry so you want it to be uh, a little bit fatty which gives it a better taste okay with this we're gonna add two chopped up green onions and one egg So mix this thoroughly. We want a nice consistent consistency. <laughs> Sorry, this is gonna make you a lot of wontons. Use the side of the wonton wrap with less flour. With the handle of a teaspoon, scoop a thumb size of the filling, then put it in the middle of your wrap and close it corner to corner. Once more corner to corner. Give it a slight half twist and another half twist. And you're done. Repeat it till you run out of filling. Bring
bring your water to a high boil. Cook your wonton two to three minutes. If you leave them too long, they will become soggy. Here I've added wonton noodle to make it a main course. And that's how you make wonton. So you have your wonton as a full meal. You have your wonton as an appetizer. Hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe for more uh, food and I'll see you next time.